Hey everybody, Ed Holmwood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. I hope everyone's doing well today. Today is going to be a quick little video, a little fun overview of a kind of an interesting product. Now this is the FIO K11 balanced headphone amp with an internal DAC. It's, there's been a version of this out for a while, but this is brand new. And what makes this really compelling and why I actually spent my own money on it is, this is a fully balanced R to R resistor based ladder DAC internal topology for 159 bucks. Link in the description below. Seriously, a full on ladder DAC for 159 bucks. It has single ended and balanced headphone, nice little display, obviously the volume control and menu selector and so forth on the front panel. On the back, even though it is balanced internally, it's only single ended output. Uh, SPDIF coax, SPDIF Toslink, USB-C, and then power. Now the power supply looks like a little miniature uh, laptop power supply. It is a switching power supply, but they do some internal power supply configurations uh, internally. And, and I'll show you and we'll talk about that in just a second. So I apologize, I'm gonna be reading from an outline because there's a lot to unpack here and I wanna make sure I get it accurate. So the unit uses a fully differential four channel 24 bit R to R resistor array ladder deck circuit topology. And it uses two times 48 precision resistors per channel for a total of 192. And they are thin film 0.1% tolerance resistors. And they have a very low heat drift, which is very, very important. Um, it employs, like I said, a fully differential internal, uh, a fully differential balanced internal circuit topology, obviously until we output the single ended or single ended headphone. Um, it does support PCM 24-bit uh, 384, and it will support DSD up to DSD 256. But there is a caveat. As many of you know, ladder DACs can't do DSD native. So the unit has to convert the DSD signal to PCM, and then that's what the ladder DAC array can convert to an analog signal. So again, it can you can input DSD, but it's going to convert it to PCM for output, just so you're aware of that. Now, it has two different modes on it, a non-oversampling mode, which is the way I listened to it real quickly last night for a couple hours, and an oversampling mode, which takes everything up to 384 kilohertz. Um, the interesting thing about this is internally, it uses an FPGA. Now, FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. Some people use FPGAs as DACs. I think um, PS Audio does. I know MyTech does. I think Mola Mola does. Uh, FPGA is basically a circuit that be, can be programmed to do a bunch of different things. In this particular DAC, the FPGA is programmed to handle, obviously, noise shaping and signal processing and noise reduction prior to it being sent out to the ladder DAC for conversion. Now, between the FPGA and the ladder DAC are two TI OPA 1646 op amps, which then give it a little bit of a boost. Now, R to R ladder DACs are a voltage-based DAC, and in other videos I've talked about current base and voltage base. Delta Sigma voltage-based DACs, like ESS DACs, they have nothing in common with voltage-based ladder DACs, right? And voltage-based ladder DACs have almost nothing in common with current-based ladder DACs, except with the AK4499 chipset, because it has a bit of R to R multi-bit hybridness in it. And I'm gonna talk about that in a whole nother video. But anyway, so, it uses the OPA 1642 op amps from TI going into the into the ladder DAC array. Now, it does something, and I'm not familiar, and I'll put it down here when I figure out what it is. Um, it goes through two SGM 8262 op amps for what they call four-way phase inversion and amplification, resulting in outputs of single-ended and balanced analog signals. So I think that's, after it's converted, it goes through those SGM op amps, and I'm not familiar with those. I'm gonna look them up and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it here, and maybe I'll cut in a little bit of a video about what that might be here or not. I did say I'd cut in if I found out what the SMG8662 is, and basically it comprises two voltage feedback operational amplifier on a single chip, capable of driving heavy loads with excellent linearity and low noise. The low distortion, high output current, and wide output dynamic range, very important, make the 8262 ideal for applications that require a large signal swing into a heavy load. So I think all that means is it obviously produces a lot of power and gives good dynamics and very low noise. So now back to our regular scheduled programming. So maybe I did cut in something about SGM. Anyway, the power supply, internal power supply, uh, it is broken up so that 
there are power supplies for each various circuit topology, so there's no noise interference between those various circuits. Um, you know, some are more susceptible than others to noise, so they each have their own little power supply, and there's a graphic for that right there. So anyway, that's that, and I think it's really kind of interesting. It is, you know, a little R to R, $159 R to R ladder deck. Is this the future of entry-level DACs? Are we gonna start seeing resistor-based ladder DACs? $159? I don't know what that means. Um, I do know that I listened to it for a couple hours last night, and I will be dead honest with you. It was after a really lovely steak dinner and a couple of glasses of wine. So I was in a really, really good, relaxed mood. And my first impressions of it was, and I did compare it briefly against ESS Sabre DAC, and I did compare it briefly against um, my shit uh, multi-bit Bifrost. Um, and so I, I can't really draw any conclusions other than my first impressions of this was, the base was really good on it. It was really solid, good definition. Um, and it was much smoother. It didn't have any of the digital glare of the of that Saber DAC glare. Um, but I don't know, and I wasn't listening hard enough to suss out whether or not it had the same level of clarity through the mid-range and high frequencies as the Bifrost. But my initial impression was very positive of it. And again, I'll do a deeper dive in a different video. But just off the bat, it was like, wow, that's kind of cool. And again, it was the base that kind of got me first. So anyway, I'm going to do a deep dive on this little bad boy. Um, give me some time. I really, I've got so many other things I need to do, but I want to get it done quickly so anybody who's interested in it can act quickly. Um, and it's, again, I, you know, I spent my own money on this because I thought $159 ladder deck, I got to check it out. Anyway, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please give me a like and a subscription. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. My subscriber count's growing really nicely, and I am very grateful for that. I am getting noticed by manufacturers, uh, and manufacturers I reach out to are saying yes to my requests for demo products, so that's real positive. And I will tell you, there are a bunch of really fun things in the pipeline and some really high-end stuff in the pipeline. Um, our good friend and OG YouTuber, Mr. Thomas Tan of Thomas & Stereo, I've got one of his Galleon solid state amps, the uh, TSA 75, sitting over there right now, and I'm gonna be listening to it more and more, uh, along with some other stuff. I also have some new vintage gear in that I'm gonna be reviewing. I've got some high-end tube stuff coming in. It should be a ton of fun. So again, thank you guys for all your support. I'm grateful for it. Um, it's making a lot of fun things happen here, and hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy the videos that I create, and hopefully you enjoy the videos I've already created. So again, like, subscribe, comment. In the description are Amazon affiliate links. There is a link to this if you want to purchase it. Um, there are playlists of mine below. I have added and going to be adding some, my evaluation track playlists, the ones that I kind of always use. I vary things a lot, but there are maybe a dozen go-to tracks that I know really well that I use for evaluation. They'll be in the description below and on the community post where all of your guys' playlists that you sent me uh, are listed. And again, please send me more playlists. And I think that's everything I've got to say. So thank you guys so very much for your time. Thank you so very much for your support of the channel. I'm really grateful. And thank you so much for all the positive feedback I'm getting. I, it's very humbling and I'm glad you're enjoying it. So this is Ed Homewood, Old Guy Hi-Fi channel saying, you know what, it's now time for you to go listen to some music, maybe on a little $150, $159 R2R ladder deck balanced headphone amp. Thanks so very much. I appreciate your time.